Hello, good afternoon. How are you? How was your day today? Did you enjoy uh, last time's uh, mathematics discussion? I hope you revised all the areas I asked you to do. Now today, I choose uh, to teach um, algebra. So welcome to mathematics today. The other time we learned an, a new song that we had sung in, uh, in um, um, pre-unit, Shake the Mango Tree. I hope you remember that. I hope you remember that. I would like us to do it again. Shake, shake the mango tree, mango tree, mango tree. Shake, shake the mango tree. Down fall the mango, down fall the mango. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. We have counted one to ten. Remember that's where mathematics began. Today we have algebra. Algebra begins long from class four and it's divided into these five sections. We have simplifying algebraic expressions. We have solving algebraic expressions. We have evaluating algebraic expressions. We have forming algebraic expressions and inequalities. So as you revise for algebra, make sure you've touched all these areas of algebra. Now here are papers of reference. I've excluded 2019 because my questions have been extracted from 2019. So, I have started at 2018, and these are the questions that uh, are at the break in KCP 2018. 2017 had four questions. 2016 had four questions. 2015 had three questions. 2014 had five questions. 2013 had four questions, five questions, sorry. 2012 had five questions. 2011 had four questions. And 2010 had three questions. Now, those are the number of questions that popularly come in KCP talking about algebra. Boys and girls, as I was learning in class eight, so many years ago, probably you were not born. I was told by my teacher that each question of algebra carries three marks. Just imagine in this year that there are five questions, like 2014. Each of these questions, if you get it right, you score five questions, five marks. That brings 15 marks only um, on, um, on algebra questions, 15 marks. That is the reason I got interested in learning algebra well. So welcome and let us discover what 2019 has in store for us. Question 22, what is the value of x plus 2n minus r all over y, where x is 15, y is 2r, n is x plus 9, and r is n plus 6. What is our first step? Our first step is to find the exact value of n, because here we are told n is x plus 9, so we don't know the exact value. Find the exact value of R. Here we are told R is N plus 6. And find the exact value of Y because here it's 2R. So how do we find the exact values of those variables? Now, we first of all find N. We are told 
n is equal to x plus 9. And so we take the value of x. Here the value of x is 15. We substitute in the place of x and put 15 plus 9. Are you following? I hope so. So what is 15 plus 9? What is 15 plus 9? 15 plus 9 is equal to 24. 15 plus 9 is equal to 24. Very good. I hope you've understood. So the exact value of, uh, of, of n is 24. Let's look at the exact value of r. r, we are told, is n plus 6. And so we take the, the value of n, which is 24, plus 6. What is 24 plus 6? Class. Very good. 24 plus 6 is 30. That is brilliant. Then we are told the value of y, y is 2r. What is the relationship between 2 and r? Yes, Moses? Correct. The relationship between 2 and r is multiplication. So this is 2 times r. What is the value of r? The value of r is 30. So this means y is equal to 2 multiplied by 30. And that gives us Bridget S, correct. And that gives us 60. Boys and girls, we have done the first step. We have finished the first step. We go to the second step. The second step has two sub-steps. The first sub-step is substitute. And the second sub-step is work out. So let us substitute the exact values in the equation. Remember, the equation was x. So where there is x, we'll write the exact value of x, which is 15. Plus 2 times n. The exact value of n is 24. So we write there 24. Minus the exact value of r, which is 30. All over the exact value of y, which is 60. Boys and girls, up there, have you understood? With your permission, we can go on to the next step, which is working out. We work out. Right? When we work out a sum that has more than one operation, we follow board mass. Let's remind ourselves what board mass is. Allow me to write here, board mass. Do we have brackets? No, we don't. Do we have off? No, we don't. Do we have division? No, we don't. Do we have multiplication? Yes, we have. Can we start with multiplication? So we multiply the two numbers. 2 multiplied by 24. 2 multiplied by 24. Yes, Gitama. What is 2 multiplied by 24? Very good. 2 multiplied by 24 is 48. Remember, I'll still write 15 plus 48 subtract 30 all over 60. Thank you. Yes? Now, because subtraction is on this fraction, we will ignore, we will ignore the addition. We will ignore the addition. Because the rule says we start with addition. But because uh, subtraction is on the fraction, let us deal with the subtraction first. So what is 48 minus 
30 Mary washuka very good 48 minus 30 is 18 so we write 15 plus 18 over 60 the sum is becoming simpler as we go on with working out right now we would want to simplify 18 and 60 can we get a common divisor especially greatest common divisor between 16 60 and 18 greatest common divisor yes Tyrese Mwangi very good the greatest common divisor here is 6 and so we simplify by 6 so by 6 we get 3 and by 6 we get 10 what do we have here we have 3 over 10 so we have 15 plus 3 over 10 when we are adding when we add 15 to 3 over 10 boys and girls we will get 15 whole 15 whole 3 over 10 15 whole 3 over 10 as the answer or in decimal we would say it is 15 point 3 15 point 3 if it has to be in decimal but I know the answer was in mixed number boys and girls that's how that question was supposed to be solved I hope you have followed the steps as I've written here is there any question on that question very well let us go to the same question paper 2019 question number 23 they have said here which of the following expressions is the simplified form of this what do you understand by that question yes what do you understand by that question Clara yes we simplify we simplify this so you are supposed to simplify this expression we start by opening the brackets we start by opening brackets so step one open brackets we open brackets by multiplying the number outside the bracket with each of the numbers inside the bra bracket and so 2 multiplied by 3x we will get 6x what is 2 multiplied by y yes Debra 2 multiplied by y correct 2 multiplied by y is 2y we have opened that bracket so we add 4x all over what is 4 multiplied by x what is 4 multiplied by x Judy Wanza very good 4 multiplied by x is 4x what is 4 multiplied by 2y grace very good 4 multiplied by 2y is 8y we subtract y that is where we are now we want to go on to the other part of the whiteboard because this is very low you cannot be able to see it clearly so let's go up there we collect the like terms together now collect like terms we collect like terms now here this 6x look 
looks like that 4x. Yes, that's on the nu numerators. On the denominators, they have already collected themselves. They are together, 8y and y. 4x doesn't have a partner, so it remains that way. So we collect 6x. We carry the number with its sign plus 4x, then plus 2y. All right? All over 4x plus 8y minus y. We have already collected like terms together. Now we work out what is 6x plus 4x class very good that is 10x that will be 10x plus 2y all over 4x what is 8y minus y takashi very good takashi that is 7y, 7y. Now look at that question. That is the right answer. That's the simplest form of this expression. And that is how we do it. Look at how we did it. Please study the, the method, the steps involved. Did you understand? Can you be able to answer a question of that kind? I am glad that you understood. Then we go to the next question. What is the value of x in the equation? Now oh, this is an equation, an algebraic equation. What is the value of x in the equation? And the equation is 3 over 5, open bracket, 2x plus 2, close bracket, minus 1 is equals to 5. Now we together class. I hope the letters or the digits on the board are clear and you admire the teacher's handwriting, isn't it? I'm glad I feel like blushing um, that you admire my handwriting. Please copy how I write and do the same. Let's go on. Our first step is to open the brackets. Our first step is to open the brackets. And so we open the brackets with the number immediately outside the bracket. And that would be three over five multiplied by two X. Plus three over five multiplied by 2, then minus 1 is equals to 5. Yes? What is 3 over 5 multiplied by 2x? That would become 6 over 5x plus 6 over 5 minus 1 is equals to 5. Alright? Now we collect the like terms. Now, this is how we collect like terms here. There is an equal sign, and so one shall be taken to the other side. Now, look at the one. Yesterday, I talked about integers, and so one is a negative integer. In primary, we call it minus one. In high school, you will call it positive one and so when minus one crosses the equal sign it becomes plus one so this side will be plus one so let us write what we are left with so here we have six over five x plus six over five is equal to six one plus five or five plus one is six. Can we be able to see that? Very good. Now, again, 
we are making it trouble. But I would like you to know, when it reaches here, boys and girls, we look for the LCM of the denominators. Now, this 6 will make it a fraction by putting it over 1. So the LCM of the denominators is still 5. And so, we multiply each, remember it is each, not both sides, but each fraction by the LCM. So we multiply here by 5, we multiply here by 5, we multiply here by 5. Are you able to see that, boys and girls? It is not magic, very simple. And so we cancel by 5, 1, by 5, 1, by 5, 1, by 5, 1. Then what do we remain with? What do we remain with? Let's come here. Solve the question now. We want to solve the question. Here we remain with 6x plus 6 equals to 5 times 6. What is 5 times 6? Jacob? Very well. It is 30. 5 times 6 is 30. Now, we transfer this integer. What do we, call, we say a number with a plus will be called in form 1? Very good. It will be called a positive integer. I can see you are getting orientated to form 1 already. Be of good cheer. It's only a few months and we'll be there. And so this positive integer or a plus 6, when it crosses the equal sign, becomes minus 6. So we have subtract 6. And so what are we left with on this side? We have 6x is equal to. What is the difference between 30 and 6? What is the difference between 30 and 6? Yes, Elaine. I didn't remember that you are in class. Give us the answer, Elaine. Very good. 30 minus 6 is 24. Very good. So the answer here is 24. Now, we have 6x equals 24. Remember, we are solving the problem to find the value of the unknown. What is the relationship between 6 and x class? Very good. There is a silent multiplication there. And so, we divide both sides by 6. Both sides by 6. Right? So that by 6, 1, by 6, 1, by 6, 1, and by 6, 4. Boys and girls, what is the value of x? Obvious. The value of x is 4. So the answer would be 4. Did you understand, boys and girls? Very good. That makes me happy when you understand. My business here is to make you understand. I'm very, very pleased. I was very glad teaching you today. Now, in the same year, 2019, we have a question number 24, which is talking about forming an algebraic expression. This question, I would not, I could not write it because my blackboard, my whiteboard was small. But I would want you to get to that paper and uh, work it out form the algebraic expression and I will mark tomorrow. Today I'm so pleased. The other questions are found here like I showed you at the beginning of the lesson. I'm very happy and because and because this lesson was so exciting boys and girls tomorrow I promise each one shall have at least two biscuits and one sweet. If you do this work well, following my examples here, I'll be very pleased.
How many will score all the questions of algebra in KCP or some? Now shall we clap for ourselves? I'm so happy. God bless you for now. Let us meet in the next mathematics lesson. God bless you.